Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. I'm so glad that we're finally having this conversation. You know, a couple weeks ago, we played that Jamie Dimon clip that went viral pretty much everywhere. I wish the Democrats would think a little more carefully when they talk about MAGA. And, and I think people should be a little more respectful of our fellow citizens. The Democrats have done a pretty good job with the deplorables, but hugging onto their Bibles and their beer and their guns. I mean, really? Like, can we just stop that stuff and actually grow up and treat other people with respect and listen to them a little bit? He made the point that Trump voters are regular people who deserve respect. Now, I have been making that point for years on this channel. Those of you guys who have been following me for a long time, you know that to be true. And so I have to say that I'm delighted that this is finally becoming part of the public conversation. Jamie Dimon isn't the only one. We also have a relatively high-profile Democrat politician essentially saying the exact same thing, as well as Fox News discussing the issue. I want to show you guys what's going on. I want to talk about it. But before before we get into any of it, this video is actually brought to you guys by a sponsor, so let's play that clip. This video is brought to you guys by our great friends at American Hartford Gold. Folks, we're living through the age of fiat currency, but pretty soon we're going to completely transition away from paper money into a full digital dollar world, the central bank digital currency. In other words, the Fed is going to have total administrative control on every dollar in the economy and everybody's bank account. As we inevitably march into that system, there's only one way to protect yourself, or at least hedge a little, and that's by owning precious metals, gold and silver. That's where American Hartford Gold comes in, the highest rated gold company in the US, with thousands upon thousands of five-star reviews and an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. With one phone call, they could deliver physical gold and silver straight to your doorstep or directly into your IRA or 401k. And best of all, on top of how easy it is, American Hartford Gold is currently running a promotion where you could get up to $5,000 of free silver on qualifying orders. One phone call or text message away, all you gotta do is call 844-440-1005 or text HiveMind, one word, to 65532. That's HiveMind, one word, to 65532. A huge thank you to American Hartford Gold. Now back to the video. All right, folks, so you guys have probably seen this guy before. This is Democrat Representative Dean Phillips. I think we covered one or two clips of Dean Phillips recently. Well, a couple months ago, not exactly recently, but you get the point. Just take a look. We have a crisis of participation. And I got to tell you guys, I went to a Donald Trump rally a couple nights ago. Never been to one. Uh, I had an event across the street. I saw the line of people waiting in the cold for hours. And I thought, what the heck? You know, I'm going to be a leader who actually invites people, doesn't condemn them. Met probably 50 Trump people waiting in line. Every single one of them, thoughtful, hospitable, friendly. All of them so frustrated that they feel nobody's listening to them but Donald Trump. A diverse crowd, people who had never been to a Trump event before. My party is completely delusional right now. This man deserves a medal, and I'm so glad that he was willing to say it in the words that he said it. Quote, my party is completely delusional. Mr. Phillips, you are absolutely correct. It's the best way that you could put it. Your party is absolutely, completely, utterly delusional. And the craziest part is you think that they would learn their lesson after 2016. Hillary Clinton labeled Trump supporters as deplorables, a basket of deplorables, irredeemables. We all remember that infamous moment. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. Well, that was the moment where pretty much it all ended for Hillary Clinton and her hopes for becoming the next president of the United States. That was the moment that triggered the sharp decline, but also one of the moments that started the hysteria. It's time for a reality check. You can't just keep going around with the most ridiculous, hyperbolic, nonsense rhetoric, claiming every Trump supporter is a freaking serial killer. Obviously, I'm being facetious, but you get the point. When the obvious reality is that Trump supporters are just regular folk, and we see this every single time. We've seen all kinds of videos online where people attempt to challenge preconceived notions relating to Trump rallies and Trump voters. And each and every single time we know the timeline works there, people think it's going to be this scary experience. Essentially, they're going to a KKK rally. Oh, oh spooky stuff. Then they all finish with the same conclusion that actually Trump voters aren't bad. They're just regular people. Going to UCLA, I was doing it on easy mode. I'm like, what is the most hostile environment I could think of? Um, and for me, as like a liberal, I was thinking, okay, that has to be a Trump rally, right? I'm like seeing all of this, uh, this stuff online about how like people like throwing stuff and putting things on fire or stuff like that. And almost instantly upon arriving, that was not the case. Everyone we talked to, uh, 
uh, extend us a ton of kindness. And so it brings us to the question, who's truly divisive? Is it Donald Trump and his voters? Or the political party that continues to label Trump supporters as enemies of the state? Irredeemable, deplorable. It goes on and on. The answer is quite clear. Charles Payne on Fox News, I think, laid it out perfectly in a debate with Jessica Tarlov. You know, Charles, you talked about uh, the issues here and how immigration here is, is at the top, but it also is an economic issue and right. it crosses all boundaries. And it is a weakness for President Biden and the Democrats. Uh, Dean Phillips talks about this on the trail and he talks about how Democrats demean MAGA voters. He talked about it with me today, saying that, you know, it's just strange that they're talking about a, a group of voters like that. Yeah, and, and, and I don't think it's narcissism. I think if it's, you've lived in New York long enough, you know it's maybe a New York thing. Someone punches you, you punch him back harder. That's why I grew up in Harlem. Not so. if the country's at stake, right? He won, he became president of the United States. Uh, with that same personality. I, I don't think that, you know, he, listen, I think it's worse with Biden calling MAGA. Biden's anger and vitriol and hatred for MAGA is far more worse than President Trump's individual battles with someone who crosses him. That is something that is really detrimental to this country, that the president of the United States despises half of the United States. President Biden, I, I said earlier today, I just wrote about a week ago, I had a segment coming up, so I, I Googled Biden hates MAGA. Nothing but art, articles after articles after articles. He has expressed hatred for Who's half of the country. Who's writing those articles? It doesn't matter. And Look it's at not. Them. Because, because the bottom line is he says it. He has vitriol for them. And so does MSNBC and so does CNN and so does the New York Times. They have vitriol for half of the nation. They don't look at them like fellow Americans. And it's unfortunate. They try to paint them as racist. That all the things that they do to their fellow Americans who simply want a safe home, a safe community, for the children to have prosperity. They want the same thing, but they demean them all the time. That's why I think Phillips was so intriguing, because he went to a rally to find out for himself. And guess what? Golly, these are some pretty cool people. That's They're just like that. Exactly what he is totally right. And really, I think the best part is being able to separate Trump from the actual voter. You know, this idea that Trump is such a bad person who attacks people. Mostly what I see from Donald Trump is defensive. I've said that from day one. You know, I think it's actually one big gaslighting campaign. It's done on purpose. They know that he's going to react harshly. They know that he's not just going to, you know, take the hits without hitting back. So they hit him constantly. And then when he says something in return, well, all of a sudden, the gaslighting begins begins and he's the evil crazy man who can't control himself and says crazy things and is so angry and vindictive. Oh, shocking. It's all so ridiculous. But most importantly, it's two things. It's dishonest and it's wrong. And it's about time that people start to realize that the Trump voters aren't voting for fascism or supporting a fascist takeover of the nation. Trump voters are the ones asking for clear transparency and audits so they can ensure that democracy is protected, so they can regain faith in the system. Ooh, spooky fascists calling for a transparent democratic electoral process. Absolutely wild. Oh, those scary fascists who want free speech and free markets, smaller government, less regulations and taxes. I say the same thing every time. These leftist narratives make absolutely no sense. And the narrative that surrounds the average Trump supporter is so wrong on so many levels. And all you gotta do to realize that is get off Twitter, get off Reddit, and these days, especially for the younger generation, get off Twitch TV and simply open your eyes, open your mind, and open your heart. Maybe touch grass, leftoids. Get out there and speak to some people. Get an idea of what a Trump supporter really is. Because just as your own party representative put it, you are completely delusional. But obviously they won't listen to Dean Phillips. They won't listen to me. They'll continue doing what they're doing. But I'm not so sure it's going to work. Joe Biden is now viewed as more divisive than Donald Trump. According to a couple polls that I think we covered two weeks ago, the American voter does not believe that Joe Biden has the ability to unite the country, which was such a core tenant of his initial campaign. And so maybe, just maybe, all this divisive crap and all this hatred, this intolerance, maybe it's finally starting to backfire as more and more people wake up to the truth that the Democrat Party is completely delusional and their behavior is totally out of line. Anyways, you filthy deplorables, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.